Today I'm gonna show you my popper burn deck. Here it is. Popper is a magic online format, but you can play paper popper too. And this is a mono red deck. It's a burn deck. It's very powerful. Let's go through it card by card. So four copies of Chain Lightning. It does want three damage to one target. It can be a player or a creature. And the target can copy the spell. And then you can copy the copy. It only costs one mana. Lightning Bolt is a classic. I have three copies of 4th edition boats and one copy of revised boats and it does 3 damage to one target it's pretty straightforward Needle Drop for 1 red mana you can deal 1 damage to target creature or player that was dealt damage this turn and you can also draw a card Lava Spike 1 red mana it deals 3 damage to target player and that's what we intend to do with this deck to reduce the life total to zero as quick as possible. Firebrand Archer, one in red. It is a creature, but when you cast a non creature spell, it deals one damage to each opponent. It's a 2 1. And since we have a lot of instants and sorceries, it's gonna be dealing a lot of damage. Thermal Alchemist, one and red. It's a zero three, and you can tap to do one damage to each opponent. But when you cast an instant or sorcery, you untap Thermal Alchemist. So it's gonna be untapping a lot. Curse of the Pierce Heart. I got this Spanish playset. It's Maldición del Corazón Perforado. One and red, and it deals one damage to target player in his upkeep. If played early, it can win the game. Searing Blaze, two red mana, it deals one damage to target creature and to target player. But if an, a land enters the battlefield under your control, it deals three damage. To, a, to that player and 3 damage to that creature, so it's a very good card. Rift Bolts, 1 and red, deals 4 damage to each player. I mean Flame Rift, sorry. Now Rift Bolts, for 2 and red, it deals 3 damage to target creature or player, but you can suspend it. For one red mana, then it's it, you can cast it when when you remove the last counter from the cards. Fire blast, it's quite expensive. Four and two reds, but you can set two mountains instead of paying the casting costs, and it deals four damage to target creature or player, so you can. Tap that those lands to to cast a spell and then sacrifice it to Fire Blast and win the game. And Forgotten Cave, it's a land. I'm running three copies and it's a, a mountain, but it has cycling, so you can get your spells from the library. And 16 copies of Mountain. It's a revised mountain. And this is it for the main deck. Let's take a look at the sideboard. This is the sideboard. This deck is very good, but it will not perform well if the opponent is gaining a lot of life. But there are ways to sideboard against some major competitors. Like for for instance, blue control decks, Pyroblast can counter a target blue spell or destroy a target blue permanent. Running four copies. 
Smash the Smithereens. It's against Affinity. So you can destroy those artifacts. And it also deals 3 damage when it destroys an artifact. Molten Rain is good against Tron. It destroys target land. And if, if, if the land was non-basic, like Urza's Mine or something like that, it deals 2 damage to the land con to the land's controller. Running 2 copies. Fire Slinger, when you need an extra creature that can deal with, deal with creatures, it's 1-1 uh, one, one for 1 and red. And you can tap it to deal damage to a creature or player. But it does 1 damage to you. Another copy of Flame Rift. And 2 Electricery. For 1 mana. It deals 1 damage to target creature you don't control, but you can overload it for 1 and red, and then it deals 1 damage to each creature you don't control, so you can deal with aggro. And that's it! Thanks for watching!